I think a cat threw up here or something. It's disgusting. Yeah, there's cat fur and food and stuff. Ugh. Behind me is the little greenhouse that came with the house that I'm living in right now here in South Korea. And for the longest time and even before we got the house, this has always just been used for storage. And it's none of it's really ours. A lot of it is just stuff from the previous owner of this house. But I want to start using this greenhouse. It's a sturdy little greenhouse. I think it'd do really well. I think we could grow some really good stuff in there, but it's just filled with so much junk. So we've got to clear it out. And this is probably going to be the start of a new series of fixing up our greenhouse ready to grow a bunch of herbs and vegetables and maybe fruit as well. I guess I'll start with a little tour of the greenhouse then. Let's go have a look. This is pretty common in Korea. These greenhouses are made of plastic with these metal frames. They're pretty sturdy, very, very sturdy. It's got a window in the back here. And a big old door in the front here. But going inside, as you can see, this is all stuff that the previous owner left. But like some scrap wood, some old tools. This table I want to keep in here because that would actually be nice to have as a coffee table inside. More scrap wood, gasoline containers. Some, actually some cool stuff, which maybe we can salvage. And then a bunch of grills, uh, kind of some, yeah, some fertilizer down there. More just random furniture. And then I guess they try to grow something in here. But honestly, I don't like this, so I'm going to get rid of this. Pull up all that scrap wood. We've got a little bit of old kitchen furniture, but I might actually keep this and use this as a potting bench. But got all these old Korean cider bottles, which is like Korean Sprite. Get rid of those. Old shelf, which is drooping down like crazy. More scrap metal. Up here we've got... Actually, a nice, cool little basket might keep that as well. But it, honestly, not too bad. I guess it'll be easy enough just to clear this out. This looks like, actually, this was designed to be a little little worktop here, so we can keep that in there. But I essentially just want to start growing stuff on the sides, here and here, and then maybe even putting a table somewhere in here so actually I can cook in here, because I think this would be a pretty sick little backdrop with stuff growing all over the top and the sides. It'd be really exciting. I don't even know where to start here. I guess I should put some gloves on. Let me get some airflow going in here as well. Let's open this window. I guess I should start with the tools. Let's get these tools sorted. Maybe I can salvage this one actually. That's a big knife. Cool. Oh, be good for some fish. Just need to give it a good sanding, good sharpening. Big knife. I'm gonna hold on to this one. These are garden tools. These I can keep in here for sure. Toolbox doesn't even shut properly. Tons of scrap wood. Although this scrap wood could be useful as shelves or whatnot. So we'll set this aside, hold on to this for later. So much stuff. 
can take a while. Maybe not the best idea, but I figured the fastest way to get rid of all these weeds is just to uh, burn them off. Because there are just so many of them and they're like so buried in the rocks. I figured this is probably the fastest way. I've got full ventilation going here. The smoke is going straight out. And I've got the hose ready right behind me just in case. But this is how I'm going to do this. This seems to be the fastest way. Because I don't want to spray any chemicals. And by doing this, at least the ash goes back into the soil. I want to say we've got like half of this tidied now. At least this half. Let me show you. Oh, and that's a wasp bee in here. Essentially just cleared everything off this side. Granted, I did just put it out here, but I think we're going to have to hire a truck to come and just pick all this up and take it away for us. Hopefully that's easy enough. But at least this side's looking a bit tidier. And you do need to just pick out some of the little weeds. I'll take these out and I'm gonna have to unscrew and then pull up all of this stuff over here and maybe spread some more rocks that way. Because in this greenhouse at least, I'm probably gonna do everything in tubs. I'm not actually gonna plant anything into the ground. Yeah, and also I wanna use this space as maybe like a little kitchen area. So a lot of the plants will probably be like around here. There's good ventilation here, so that should be better if I do cook in here. And maybe this corner over here will have a lot of plants in it. I think it's gonna look really nice. That wood is completely rotted out. I've got to figure out something to do with all this soil. I can either spread it out over this entire thing or move it out there. But the easy way would just be spreading it around here and then hose everything down just to like dissolve it back down into the rocks again. I think that's my, that's probably what I'll do. So I'll do that. It's gonna be really dusty though, so. All right, we just popped out for lunch, but I'm back now. And I think I'm gonna keep in moving a lot of this stuff out. I've got a bunch of this scrap wood here that needs to be moved out. And I think once I do that, it should free up a lot of space. Got lots of like little knickknacks and things here that, I don't know, maybe some of it's worth keeping. Got to kind of decide. But for now, I just want to clear this out completely, go through the stuff, and if there's anything I could use, I'll move it back in. But I want to start with a clean blank slate. Of course I find soju bottles in here. Empty, but someone's been in here drinking. I mean, it's mostly done now. I think I'm just gonna burn off some more weeds growing in here and then I'm gonna actually drive over to the farm. I think my dad's over there. And uh, we'll just go take a look at some of the stuff that they have there that we can steal and put in here eventually. I got a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna go have a look and then maybe in the comments we can decide together what I should be growing in here. 
you know, like ultimately I want to have stuff that I'll be using quite often. I don't want anything in here to just be growing and like I don't use it at all. So we'll go have a look. We'll go see what they've got. Okay, so my parents aren't here at the moment. I think they just left. But I wanted to come here and have a look and see what kind of seedlings they have that might be useful. I don't know if I... I probably will maybe grow one or two kales. They grow really fast, so those are a good one to have. I don't know about having strawberries, but because to have enough strawberries would be worth it, you need a lot of plants. I will definitely be taking some basil. What else do we have? aubergines maybe one aubergine we'll see how that goes brussels sprouts no i don't think i'll do brussels sprouts definitely want to get some parsley i've got flat leaf parsley but i want to take some curly leaf parsley which is down there which i'm sure they've got some go here tomatoes are definitely one i'll take i'll probably take a kumquat just to see how well that will grow in the in the greenhouse lemongrass i'll take some lemongrass as well see how if i can get a lemongrass growing super bushy that'll be amazing uh, they've already planted these. These are just like Korean lettuce. I'll see if they have any that's not planted yet and I'll take one of them. Rosemary is definitely one that I want to take. Look at these snake skins. I found these snake skins in the uh, farm yesterday. Put them up in the farm. Grapevine, I don't think I will because the grapevine here is so good that they get tons of grapes from this one. So I won't bother with grapes here. Long beans, I'll probably get some long beans growing. I want to take a fig tree because I think having a fig tree at the house would be nice. What else we got? I think these are coriander or cilantro. I'll be taking one or two of them. Maybe grow some, some watermelon. I think instead of a watermelon, I might grow cantaloupes or Korean melon. This right here is gennip, which is perilla. So I'll take one of them because I love perilla. And then, what else we got? What else we got? <laughs> They've got a ton of mint growing here, so I don't know if I should grow mint at the house or just leave it for here. Hmm. Maybe I will take one strawberry, though. What are these? Okra? I can maybe some okra. I haven't really used okra before. But I do want to get chilies, though. I want to grow some chilies. But the greenhouse is looking very nice at the moment. It's going to be exciting to get my greenhouse looking just like this. So I'm gonna call it a day here with this episode of the greenhouse. I think I did a fair good job getting it tidy enough. I do need to basically kind of sort out this junk to make it easier to throw away. So I'm gonna do that now. And in the next episode, hopefully this is gone and hopefully we can start sort of planning and organizing and figuring out what we want to put in but in the comments below just let me know what you think out of the stuff that's there and also anything that you think i should try and get as well i could put in here and i could grow so yeah until next time